good afternoon there. This is uh, Charlie Tango X-Ray 1059. Over in uh, the 163 division today, uh, visiting um, Hay Bluff, about three miles uh, south of uh, Hay on Wye. Operating uh, portable station uh, tonight. Time now is five o'clock. Should take me about half hour, 40 minutes to get to the top. And um, we'll be setting up for um, the, the Wednesday night midweek uh, 254 net. The date is um, the 18th of um, June 2014. But we'll, we'll catch you again when we get to, get to the top. Well, time is 18.25. Took about half an hour to get up to the top. Um, not too bad a walk here. Temperature about 23 degrees, so pretty hot. Sweating a little bit, but um, that's the station set up for, the, for this evening's net. We've got about 40 foot of, um, of mast up with uh, the centre fed uh, dipole. You can see we're up on the, up on the Hay Bluff, and uh, you can see there I've uh, I've set up right next to the trig point. Slight breeze there. The, the, the poles, uh, the mast is bending slightly, and the flag's flying beautifully, beautifully there. A uh, little bit of breeze there, but it's not too bad. Uh, I've got a little uh, little tent up. We're not staying up overnight, but it's uh, it's just to, just to keep the sun off and uh, and the breeze off me, stop the paperwork from blowing about. We'll get back uh, to the station and uh, we'll show you the radios we're using. Well, radio tonight, we are using um, the Midland uh, Allen 78 Plus uh, multi-band. This bar is a little bit higher than what it usually is. It's usually about 1.2 to 1.3, but tonight it's uh, ranging from about 1.3, 1.2, 1 1.3, going up to about 1.6. Uh, put that down to, um, down to the location. Uh, One nine, a Roger. Yeah, cheers, break. Cheers. Well, uh, just had a bacon, uh, mushroom, and, uh, mushroom and, uh, and cheese roll. Roll's got a bit squat in the bag, so um, not quite happy with that, but uh, never mind. Nice cup of coffee there. Uh, boiled water in the small mess, uh, in the large mess tin, because it was the cleanest one. Cooked in that one there, and uh, we've used, um, used the Hexi stove. Used it last week, uh, well impressed with that. Used it again tonight. Um, the Hexi tabs I got, wow. Don't bother. They're a cool wasp then. They're only about three quid a pack, something like that. I got three boxes of these just to sh show you what they look like. It was all I could get, and they come from a camping shop. But uh, you get two strips of um, 12, and uh, well, crap. Horrible smell. But, oh, there's a wasp. Oh. Right, now he's gone. Well, yeah, we'll catch you in a bit. Okay, there we are. Catch you in a bit there. Right, all boy, Bach. Here. 
I've, uh, I finished the first round. I'll save the rest of the food for later on. But um, I am taking, uh, is it Whiskey Bravo 100? Jason there, he's uh, b b booming across to me. Whiskey Bravo 100, Jason, uh, copy uh, Charlie Tango X-Ray 1059. Yeah, I got you, Tom. I got you on a seven pound radio five, no problem at all. Eh? Yeah, exactly the same this way. Seven pound radio five, uh, BBC quality there. Can't can't fault it at all. Uh, location tonight is uh, Hay Bluff, about 2,200 uh, feet above sea level. Uh, about three miles uh, south of uh, Hay on Wye, uh, a portable sa station uh, right next to the trick point. Oh, you, you're quite high up then, eh? I take it. And quite a fair distance away from me, yeah. Yeah, yeah, fair distance there. Uh, I've I've walked away from the car, half an hour uh, climb up the mountain, and uh, I'm sat next to the trig, trig point. Uh, got about 12 metres of uh, pole up uh, and a centre fed dipole. Uh, I've, I've even put a little tent up, but because of the heat up here, it's like a sauna inside the tent. So I'm sat outside the tent, uh, just taking shelter from it from a from a little light breeze. Uh, the view today is uh, is spectacular. It's, uh, it's working well. It's uh, certainly doing the business there. Uh, can't fault the old Antrons, can you? Uh, but later on, I was uh, I was looking at getting myself uh, one of those uh, Thunderpole fives uh, when I can afford it. Uh, just using um, a, a silver rod, um, a Venom silver rod uh, on on home base at the moment. Uh, I think it cost me yeah uh, thirty quid uh, delivered, and uh, certainly shoots a skip well. Uh, no problems at all there um, making contacts. It's just uh, I live in such a bad location. Location. I don't usually um, hear very many people. Yeah, well, back home, I got a city old game master, which is, oh, how can I put it? All the 
sections are well above the roof, like. Oh, I have not a complaint, I never know. And with this Antron, I think I was just lucky on the night when I had it for ten, like. Ten pound, that's all I paid for it. Crikey, that's, that's cheap. Um... For for a tenner, even if you just uh, even if it didn't work properly, and uh, you only use it as uh, as spares, uh, money well spent. Yeah, that's what I thought. For a tenner, I take a chance. That's why I went twelve o'clock one night. I want to pick it up from uh, the boys house, like, and uh, I got to admit, it dropped my swa my uh, skip down a fair bit, like. So I'm hoping I can hear a lot more people now tonight. Yeah, that's that's why I uh, I come up on the hill tonight. Uh, last week uh, I was uh, I was fishing down in Cornwall, and I sh I should have uh, stopped at Oakhampton, being uh, one of the highest points there. I would have uh, no problem at all. But uh, I carried on. I wanted to drive that little bit extra. I didn't want 70 miles to do after the net, so I thought if I knock it down to um, 40 to 50 miles, it won't be so bad. Of course, stopped off at Brown Willie, highest uh, mountain in Cornwall, and uh, Mark and Sib were in the back of the box. Apart from that, couldn't hear anybody other than uh, locals uh, chatting on on this channel down in Cornwall. So a uh, complete waste of time there setting up last week. But a few good skip contacts. Uh, not too good on the fishing, so I thought I'd uh, make a bit more of an effort tonight and uh, get myself up onto um, onto one of the bigger mountains. Well, you seem to be doing a job anyway, because you are absolutely flying over here. Well, I could have walked another, uh, I suppose, uh, 15 minutes and gone up onto the Black Mountain. Uh, not much height in it, but um, of course, uh, it was about 23 degrees. The heat was, uh, it was hot. The sweat was pouring off of me. I thought this, this would do. Uh, I, I, I sat up here, uh, literally just on the top. But, um, better, better not hold it there because uh, I'm not sure who's on the channel, and um, I'm going to get myself another brew on the go. So. Um, I'm going to say 73 is for, for now, and uh, no doubt we'll catch you a little bit uh, later on there, Jason. But uh, can you come back with your uh, your location for me, please? I'm up on uh, what you call Bedlinog Mountain. It's about hmm, 24, 25 miles west of Cardiff, I believe. Yeah, I, I've got, I've got that. I'll, uh, I'll jot it down on the notepad in a minute. Uh, I, I've got the camera rolling as well, uh, just in case I missed it. Um, so, some of the places are quite uh, difficult to pronounce. Yeah, some of them are. Last week I was up on um, Gasly Gay Mountain. Believe it or not, it's only oh, ten minutes from where I am now. I can actually see the mountain I was on last week. And to me, it's it looks about the same height anyway. Yeah, Roger. Uh, working well anyway. But uh, not, better not hold it, because obviously you don't know who's on the channel here. But um, I say, so, say 73 uh, for now there, and thanks for the contact there, Jason. And uh, no doubt we'll catch you a little bit uh, later on there. Um, keep, keep back over to you there, Mark. Yeah, nice one, my guys. Uh... So we've done the car yet. Yeah. Okay, I got you. Who do you want me to show? Whatever you like there, mate. It's your show. Okay, then. How about that Jason? I think it's Whiskey Bravo 100 there. You got a copy on this one? Yeah, Papa 39, Brian. I got you. Four pound radio phone. No problem at all, eh? Yeah, I got you about the same, actually. I'm, uh... Oh, about ten miles out of Abergavenny. In a lay by at the bottom of a mountain called Dawn of Day. Oh, you actually across from uh, where I am, man, basically. Because I'm just the other side of over there, yeah? There's the Black Mountain up there that uh, Jason uh, CTX965 was on uh, the other week. Fair play. Uh, you, you finally made it up there. Um, nice one. Just do a little 360 just to show, um, show the view that I'm, uh, I'm taking in at the moment. And it's, a, it's spectacular, it's beautiful. Nets in the full swing there. Got four contacts in the log. Well, to be honest, I've never ever had one. 
Checkpoint. Yeah, a few airplanes go past, and now we got this one. Obviously, climbed up, and he's uh, going to jump off. And then we've got a pro on the go. Dried out. We used three of those uh, round tabs to boil a, a cup of water, 
and, and they're almost four. dead, so and, uh, they're crap. Onions, green beans and right. and, uh, for information, There's a uh, 2-6 Charlie a Tango X-ray. certainly have. Uh, Dennis, uh, in the Quantox, copy uh, Charlie Tango X-Ray 1059, personal uh, Tom, uh, high ground portable station, um, Hay Bluff, South Wales. Well, good evening to you, Tom. Yeah, no problem. Sevens and five. Seven and five into the Quantox this evening. No problem, will you? Exactly the same this way, uh, 5 and 7, uh, 57, uh, lovely modulation on you. Uh, say so portable station, uh, just up on uh, on top of uh, Hay Bluff Mountain, South Wales, about 3 miles uh, south of uh, Hay on Wye. Uh, it's a little, little portable station, uh, using a 4-watt four, four radio and uh, a centre-fed dipole up on about uh, 40 foot of mast, uh, QSL. I've been on that bluff, and I, I assume that you parked the bottom, a car down the bottom and walked onto the top, yeah? Yeah, uh, Roger. Uh, parked in the car park and uh, just a half an hour walk uh, up onto the top and uh, I'm literally um, 8 foot, 12 foot away from the from the trig point. Uh, whereabouts are you in the Quantox? Are you up on uh, Crocom or are you around uh, Triscum? I came up to uh, uh, Crocom uh, village and uh, I was quite surprised how steep the hill was. Good job. <laughs> I've got a 4.6 litre uh, engine in this car. I was in third gear and uh, I was surprised that uh, I had changed down a second. Yeah, Roger there. Yeah, I know the Quantox uh, pretty well. Live literally 20 minute drive away. But um, we better not hold it because uh, a few on the channel there. So um, say so thank you very much uh, for the contact there. 73 is my friend and uh, uh, pass the key back over to Mark after you next over. OK, Tom. Uh, nice to uh, make your acquaintance for the first time and uh, back to you, Mr. Chairman. Yeah, nice one, mate. Bit more grub on the go. Yeah, you're doing okay. Uh, I'm enjoying myself uh, in the contact this evening for the first time. Put it back to you. Four more rashes uh, of bacon and a bit of mushroom. Yeah, many thanks for the contact, Dennis. One big hexa tab and one uh, small round one. That's the last of the big ones gone. Yeah, nice one there. Um, yeah, okay there. Anybody else uh, got there, uh, Dennis?
drag him in in a minute there. Um, anybody else? Uh, anybody else got loaded in the radio there? Right, it's, uh, it's, it's 10 o'clock, a uh, fair few in the log. The net's still going strong, but um, I forgot my head torch. I have got um, a backup um, LED lamp and uh, a little torch, so no problem there. But um, I'm going to get the pack station down now uh, while, um, while it's still got a little bit of light and uh, make me way down the hill, which should take me about a quarter of an hour, 20 minutes tops. So um, thanks for all the contacts. Um, I will switch on when I'm back down at the car. Uh, probably won't get so many people, but um, I'll listen in anyway. But um, 73 is all, uh, we'll catch you on the next one.